Hey there guys, uh, video 3 of the VB tutorial series. Uh, I'm going to show you about uh, if um, commands now. Uh, so I'm just going to go and click open uh, new project. Not open new project, new project, sorry. Uh, open up a uh, Windows form. Uh, call it what you want, it doesn't really matter, and click OK. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is input a text box. So let's scroll down on the toolbox till we find text box. Drop one of those in. Uh, I'm going to put a label in. Where's the label? List box label. So stick that there. And I'm also going to put in a button. So just drop a button on there as well. Um, and this looks pretty spread out, so I'm just going to drag everything over to the left a bit. And voila. Uh, okay then. Um, what we're going to talk about is if commands. Uh, these are very useful indeed. Uh, so f yeah, get into it. I guess uh, first thing you want to do is double-click button one. This will open up a new, uh, new sub for button one dot click. As you can see, because it handles button one dot click. Remember, uh, we're now going to type in if. Um, and actually, I wonder if it gives you a definition of it. There you go. Conditionally, conditionally execute a group of statements. Um, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty sort of heavy definition of it, really. Uh, basically, all it's saying is it's just like it's just like English, really. Uh, it's saying if something, then do something. Uh, so let's say if uh, text box one. I keep saying txt text box one dot text is equal to hello then now if you press enter you'll notice that it sticks a then and an end if in uh, the then is relevant because it's saying if this is true then do whatever is in between whatever is in here and if it's not true then it's going to skip to um, here not true um, that's how, yeah, so if true, do inside here, uh, and if not, then it's going to skip to here. Okay, um, so if txt one is true, uh, then we're going to say uh, label one dot text is equal to quotation marks world to be original as always. Uh, let's start the debug. Uh, now we're going to put something in here, we're going to put uh, uh, bonjour, uh, which I think is how you spell it, but then we're going to click button 1 and nothing happens because bonjour is not equal to hello. Uh, we're now going to put in hello, click on button 1, and label 1 changes to world. Uh, so that's it's pretty um, it's a pretty basic thing really uh, with if commands and th there are ex they're, they're extremely useful as well. And I said that with just about everything so far, but th these basic uh, basic principles are just applied throughout the whole of uh, well any uh, any language any programming language basically. Um, there is one other thing I guess I could show you. <coughs> Uh, excuse me, uh, and that is if you press enter and then press uh, else, if you type in else, sorry, else or else if. Uh, let's start with else first of all. Uh, so it's going to say if text box one is equal to hello, then label one is equal to text. Else, so that's going to be if it's not equal to hello, then it's going to uh, then label one dot text is equal to. Um, I don't know. Wrong keyword. Rod. There we go. So uh, what that does is, as I well, I think I just described it. But uh, if that's not true, then it's going to pop over to here. So if it's not true, it's actually going to skip into just there. Uh, let's debug that. Uh, now, if we type in hello. You'll see it pops to world. If we're going to type in uh, something else, it'll go to wrong keyword entered. Um, that's also quite useful, uh, especially for um, uh, what's the word? 
verifying stuff. I don't know. I can't remember the word of it. Anyway, I know what I mean. Um, that other one you just saw is uh, else if. So else if. Uh, all one word. Uh, and with that, you want to type in uh, else if. I don't know. Uh, else if uh, text box one dot text is equal to. Um, uh, hola. Then do this. Uh, if it's equal to hola, then label one dot text is equal to. Um, I don't know what world is is in Spanish. Hello, uh, amigo. <laughs> uh, so yes. Uh, then it, so it's going to say um, if it's equal to hello, it's going to output world. If it's equal to hola, it's going to output amigo. And if it's equal to uh, none of those, then it's going to remain the same. So, without anything in it, but one stays. Uh, label one stays the same. Sorry. Uh, hello goes to world, and uh, hola goes to amigo. And um, I think actually uh, that concludes this video pretty much. Uh, check out my other ones. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, remember to subscribe if you haven't already.